All right. Hey, hey, mages. How's it going? We're here to do another session of Wild Arms 3. Feeling, I'm feeling pretty good right now because we're about to head into the cult, I think. I think. <laughs> I'm not actually too sure. I'm just guessing based on what is currently happening with us right now. Um, so... Uh, what's going on right now is last time um, the crew had to um, check out a cave that might have some worthwhile knowledge um, and then we got sidetracked we ran into Maya and her goons the loser squad and they kicked our asses even though we pretty much beat them silly they were like nah you didn't win and then we found um and then we found the actual evil guys again we fought them we were doing so well and then we got beaten more in cutscene and it's like when are we ever going to win a boss fight canonically um and then when we somehow gained the power to defeat them we we beat them in the, in the fight but in the cutscene they just ran away so we still technically didn't win a boss fight for like half of the the game so far <laughs> uh so right now we have found the the kism fire which was something that these cult guys wanted um i forgot what their actual organization is called um they're referred to as the order i guess um they're looking they said that they're looking for this chasm fire because it may have some indication of the history of Fagaya or maybe more than that um so he has asked us to deliver it to southwest of jolly roger by sandcraft so southwest of jolly roger he has paid us actually he's been the only one that has paid us ever so far in the game we're, we're halfway done in the game and he's been the only person that actually has paid us for our work and services <laughs> not not an actual no no one cares about our crew we we will save the day broke as hell. Hey, drinks glue. Smello, smello. What's the move? Um, we're gonna gonna go for a couple hours today. Um, we're gonna see what this cult is all about. Uh, I'm also gonna try to stream tomorrow. The same thing. No. No. Tomorrow I'll do FF7 Rebirth, and then Friday I'll do more of this. Um, I'll do like an extended session. So I can catch up. Um, I, I was meaning to... Wait, where are we going? Midland? We're going to Midland, yeah. Um, I was planning to stream yesterday. I, I planned to stream yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, that was mostly because I was working on a little side project. Um, this side project... Um, the, I, I don't want to say too much about it so uh too, too much about it yet because I don't know um if the if the project is going to go through but basically the, the what the gist is someone uh contacted me asked me to do something um and I said yes I, that sounds really fun and once I get a better understanding of what I'm to do uh, I'll share it with you guys it, it is very interesting because it um, it's the first time I've ever done something like this um, that that's all I want to say at the moment uh, southwest so I have to go past these past this rock out to the west Oh, it's probably in this corner. Come on, Sandcraft. Oh, no. Oh. Or, or, or is he referring to these dunes? 
Oh, wait. I think... Can I pull up a map? Yeah, I can. I, I come, almost forgot I had this map. Hey, Four Pigeons. Hey, FaZe. How's it going? Um... I almost forgot I had this map. Oh, my God. Uh, so we have to go to... So Jolly Roger, southwest of that, which is here, pretty much. Uh, let me scan the area. Or maybe I have to go inside Jolly Roger and it'll tell me where to go. Uh, so the reason you're tired during Gold Saucer was because you have anemia. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Well, at least you know, right? At least you know, and... Best to, to not stay up so late. <laughs> um... Can you take us across the dunes? The Order of the Ark of Destiny is headquartered in a place accessible to just about any sandcraft. If you ever find that you can't sail any farther, it's best that you just call it quits and head back here. Especially since this is just about the only port you can get repairs at. How do we get a sandcraft? Dragon fossils by finding treasure chests and beating up monsters. Quick ways to get your hands on them is to hunt the beasts and eat them. It's akin to standing on top of the food chain. All right. Maybe, maybe I don't want to do that, but I got so many dragon fossils. Um. Okay, so I'm at the port for this. Can you tell me about how to? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to stay. I want to chat. Some monsters survive on dragon fossils, the building blocks of machinery. I hear a lot of you drifter folk hunt such monsters for the undigested fossils sitting inside their gizzards. I also hear that most creatures that live on dragon fossils are huge, strong, and mean. About three months ago, a ship was attacked by such a beast. It was terrible. Ugh. Okay, so everyone's telling me about dragon fossils. But, how can I use that to build my ship? Can I talk to you again? Hmm. You don't think a regular ass cat is gonna help you ride the sand? No, well... <laughs> not, not with that attitude. Southwest of the Jolly Roger, but I don't have a craft unless I'm I am to go somewhere else. So this Jolly Roger, there's nothing there's nowhere else I've traveled that's more that way. This that's the only place where I can access the dunes. Unless I I like I like the fact I can just run into a brick wall. Really, well, really nice to know. Would be really nice if the the guy from the order would were to tell me how to get my own sh uh, craft. What would be kind of nice? Um, he he didn't tell us that part. I feel- I feel ripped. He should have charged me extra. Oh yeah, so you're supposed to get it from this guy, he'll charge you about 10,000, uh, Gela. Oh, you didn't tell me about that. Oh yeah, no, that's... What, you don't- you don't know? So, I am not totally just looking up on how to get the Sandcraft. Oh wow, that's a common result. I just typed in Wild Arms 3 and it it auto completes Sandcraft. <laughs> uh 
Um, when you obtain 15 dragon fossils, head to the Jolly Roger and speak to Amelia. Hear her out. She was to help her complete her sandcraft. Amelia. No, you're Sterling. It's probably at the arms shop. <laughs> Girl, where do, where do I get your hand note? So it's probably the arms shop. Yeah, that would make sense, right? You're Amelia. Howdy. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. Like, ships. I would like to chat with you. Oh, you're looking for a ship to cross the dunes in, but you can't find it one anywhere, right? Am I right? Of course. Well, today's your lucky day. Why not help me with my research? I'm gonna put together the strongest, most cutting edge sand craft ever. <laughs> I will resist her blatant overtures. <laughs> Silence, woman. No, let's hear her out. He's a cutie. Oh, that's fancy. Well, what do you think? This baby is the cutting edge in the high speed sandcraft technology. You can fit so much dudes in this and like slaps the top of the car. Uh, but you can fit so much in this. A conventional sandcraft generates so much friction that the sand cuts into the hull. This number of this number packs a solid load of armament when making huge advances in overall speed and durability. Damn. She, she's really selling it to me. She's my answer to all the hurdles confronting further developments of the technology. It's like she's like referring to like her dream husband. <laughs> this is what I see in a perfect man. Overall speed. Outstanding uh, arms. All the maxed out stats. Of course, I had to skimp a little on the weaponry to finish her, and her drive data's blank. Hmm, I need 15 more dragon fossils to finish her chassis. All you have to do is just get them. Just, yeah, just get them. <laughs> Where? No, just get them, don't worry. Just promise to record her drive data and she's yours. Sounds like a great deal to me. What do you say? Dragon fossils for a sandcraft. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Oh, I'm happy you want to help, but I don't think you've got enough right now. Hell no, I don't. <laughs> Dragon fossils are made into all kinds of arm parts. There's no substitute for them. Damn, does she think you have dragon fossils in your pocket? I mean, I do. I have eight? I have half of them? <laughs> but, but, but girl, I'm not made of dragon fossils. Girl. Girl, please. Um, so you say... You hunt down monsters and you can scour ancient ruins. Said I try to find a place with a lot of dragon fossils and just grab them. Huh? Where can you find such a place? Well, that's your job, right? Damn. Damn. I thought I can cheat with this little kid, but I guess... I guess I gotta... I guess I gotta do things right, the right way. Damn. So, I have a plan uh, that I just came up with. Um, since we're, like, right here, let's go back to that dungeon where I got my ass kicked last time. Um, so, I've... Again, from what I've read, um, that dungeon assumes level 25. Um, and I'm pretty much at that point, so I want to see if, uh, if I can survive that dungeon this time. <laughs> so they can kick it again? Yeah, that's right. Um, so I would like to call a horse. You. So I I think they did this off stream. No, no, you guys saw this before. Um, but I think I was um grinding this particular area off stream because these guys give good H good XP. Um and they sometimes drop 
heel berries. I had so much trouble crossing this horse back over that way, and I almost died because the the encounters I've been getting here are too strong. And I was so frustrated getting this horse to jump back over to the ravine. I was so mad. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Um, also, something that I do want to do that I, that I already messed up on is... So I was, I, was, I was, like, really frustrated about this part. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting problems already. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be a great stream tonight. Oh, ba oh man. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so something that I already messed up on is that I want to go into that dungeon with my, with a maxed out ECN. Uh, because I will need to bank as much ECN as possible. Now that I know how the boss works, like how the dungeon works, um, I think how it's supposed to work is I'm supposed to fight through the dungeon, do all the puzzles and stuff, uh, fight the boss, which may be uh, um, some trouble, and then escape the dungeon, uh, trying not to do any encounters, just skipping encounters on the way out. Alright, so here we go. So here I can encounter Skip because the enemies here are super weak. How you? Oh god. Come on, you stupid horse. Jump. Oh, come on. I could jump that. There we go. All right. Ah, damn it. All right, that's fine. Um, no, that's fine. I don't need a gimmel coin. Once I get closer to the, once I get closer through the dungeon, I'll definitely need it. All right, here we go. Take two on this nonsense. Um, now that I'm like ten levels higher, I'm sure it'll go much quicker. definitely go much quicker it's a rat monkey I forgot what your your weakness is but we'll just you're weak to lead oh hell yeah alrighty alrighty we're doing it uh oh Oh right, I forgot about this. Oh, I hate this so. Oh, I hate this puzzle so much. Ah. <laughs> oh, I had so much trouble with this one. Uh. Oh wait, no, I don't need to. I I forgot. I forgot, you don't need to put the boxes over the buttons. Oh man, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> yeah, it's these dolls. Um, I forgot what they're weak to. They were weak to something I didn't have at the time. And now that I do have it, I think... They're weak to... I think they're weak to dark? So we will see. No, they're weak to light. Whoops. He's just gonna, just gonna say miss. Oh, hey, that actually did damage for once. Uh, 
Haha, <laughs> joke's on you, I'm already slow as shit. <laughs> Damn, Clive. Good job. Um, who has light? Wait, what? Water Guardian? Luck Guardian? I don't think we ever tried Lucky Hand. Uh, let's, let's, let's give him a try. Wind. Ah, Jet has light. Okay, let's do this then. First, let's see the summon. Oh? Okay. Oh. Oh, that was... Hyped up for nothing. Seven damage. Oh, because it's lucky. Lucky seven. There we go. Okay, so Jet, you do that for the rest of this dungeon. I got Kate's boots. Also, Jet being light oddly makes sense, right? I, I, I specifically gave these guys the summons that best fits them. And I, th and I, I feel right about it. It might not be the strongest, but it feels the most true to my heart. SOS. Oh, oh, speeds boost when HP is low. Okay. That's all right. All right, let's go. Damn. Th this this is so much better because I'm, I'm tearing through these guys so quickly now I think luck lucky hand damage is based on your luck stat like it's proportional what is fridging is luck it's at least normal best the best she can do is seven. Nice. I've said it before, but the luck stat is in this game is so weird. Huh? Uh oh. This is where a gimmel coin will come into play. There we go. Part of the seal that decorates the chest is chipped. Could have been, could have faded with time, or is someone responsible? A strong stench of death creeps out from the small crack. The stench slowly transforms into a human shape and begins to unleash death. It's the stench of all death. It is the Ring Keeper. So, I remember last time you kicked my ass super hard. And now, well, let's, let's see. First, what I'm going to do is temporarily enhance Clive's luck and have uh, Clive fragile him. Jet. Jet, throw a carrot. I'm gonna throw a carrot to Gallows. I'm gonna have Gallows attack, but I'm gonna cancel that and make him do a uh, extension barrier. 
I forgot when he's supposed to attack. Feels like Gallows attacks very soon. I think Gallows will hit will attack next. No, Gallus is last. Okay, cool. Alright, good, good. And then... Oh, wait, I made Gallows defend, that's why. Ah, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to make him attack. Alright, no worries. No harm done. Virginia's luck is best, so I'm just gonna have her shoot. Clive, you also shoot Jet. Um... Let's see if light will do any good. And then Gallows, you protect us. Gallows, you protect. You attack. But most importantly, you you do act stuff. Good. Uh, reminds me of this divine skill in Octopath where you deal damage, and the damage you deal, you get money for. Problem is, the only el non, -element non elemental attack. Besides basic attacks, um, have weapon affinities. You have no idea what went wrong with the damage calculation, but it always does no next to ne next to no damage. So it's like broken, but like against your favor. Uh, I'm gonna try to play Octopath at some point. I'm, I'm super happy that it's finally coming out to um, other other places other than the Switch. Um, I'll probably start with Octopath 2 since I already have it. Um, at this point, I'm going to have Virginia just heal people. No, sh nobody needs healing. So... Keep shooting. Clive, also keep shooting. Jet. Uh, your summon is good. And Gallows. Magic protect, just in case. Should probably make uh, Gallows keep buffing everyone's defense, physical defense. Oh, I should steal from him. Virginia could do that. Pick your pocket. Jet attack. Gallows attack. What do you got, buddy? Doesn't have anything. Okay. Well, I tried. Yeah, Squeenix is super late on that. Oh, I'm so glad I, I did the magic barrier too. Uh, Octo One and Monster Hunter Story is getting ported. Oh, I forgot. Almost, I forgot. I also forgot about Monster Hunter Stories. Damn, Clive, good job. Seventeen-year-old me would have been elated. I would have been. Actually, no. Seventeen at the time, I didn't know about Monster Hunter. I started playing Monster Hunter when I was. Uh, I started with World, but. I, I, I'm still excited about that. I still have to play stories. And stories too. Why is one of the tags cult? Because I thought we were gonna do cult stuff now. <laughs> Congrats. You, 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 you are welcome now. You have joined us. Oh, sh oh, this is cool. The, 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 the fruit punch and cookies are at the door. Arcana is sealed. I'm gonna have to rely on... Well, I can still use abilities, so that's cool. I'll, I'll hold off. 
for one more turn. Next round, I'll probably have... Yeah, I'm going to have Virginia do Heelberry. Mystic. Yep, yep. And, um... Chet, why don't you, uh... Give us some double money? We, we desperately need money, though. Nice, nice. Come on, Clive, I need you to I need you to crit, man. I need that three thirteen hundred damage constantly. Come on, you can do it you can do it, buddy. Lock on. No, Gatling. Come on, I need I need you to lock in, buddy. Yeah! Never mind. Look at that money! Oh, imagine if I also used the lucky card. But I'll take this! I'll take money! Monster Hunter Stories is the best monster collecting game. Capsulates 2,000 children shonen anime vibes like perfectly. I've, I've heard about that. I've heard about like the shonen vibes. Um, I've, I've seen a kid play it. Um, there was a kid I was teaching, and he had Monster Hunter Stories on his DS, and I'm like, oh, that looks cool. It looks good. The corpse ring glitters as it eats away the surrounding dirt, rock, and all life form in its vicinity. Acquiring the corpse ring will curse all party members by reducing their HP to 1 and their vitality gauge to 0. It will be impossible to remove the curse as long as you are in the ruins. You cannot restore your HP or vitality gauges. Furthermore, you will not be able to save! Damn! I was just about to do that! The only way to remove the curse is by exposing the ring to sunlight. Based on these conditions, you'll be willing to risk death and take the corpse ring out of the decaying labyrinth to remove the curse. Listen. Listen. We need money so bad. <laughs> Let's do it. Got the corpse ring. Everyone's health is one. Everyone's vitality is zero. Cannot heal. We are super cooked. Cannot use Gimbal Coin. I didn't know about this. I thought we had to max out the ECN. I'm super glad I maxed out my ECN. Alright, so we're gonna haul ass out of here. I wonder if there's a way to cheese it, but I guess not, huh? I guess we just gotta haul ass. No, no, no. Oh, God. Okay, I see. Nope. <laughs> I'm holding onto this box for safety. <sighs> okay. Th this is why all the boxes are here, because I need to use this to uh, 
reduce my encounters. Right? Oh, thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Just finished the game and did none of the end game content. Oh, you gotta do the end game stuff. Uh, that resets it. Like, just, just holding onto the box. Just the comfort of the box makes me makes me feel good and not have to do fights. Ah, oh, damn it. No. Oh god, where do I go from here? Okay, good. Oh, I'm getting low. Alright, should be almost out. Yeah, I'm almost out. It's like two more... Guys, I could skip one more. Oh god. This is so nerve-wracking. This is awesome. This is this is the best. This is the best. I love this. Oh no! Oh, okay, that's already done. Uh. <laughs> um, so here's a good question. Can I revive my teammates? If they- if they die in battle? Like, is that a thing I can do? I'm so scared to go this way because it's such a huge trip. Uh. Oh no! Oh, it's a random encounter. It, it's a it's a ambush. Oh oh, their max HP is one, so I can't do anything. Oh that's oh that's amazing. Well, hopefully this gives me uh, more ECN. Um, I do have light. Light gems, here we go. Oh, it only works for one. Okay. Um, let's do this. I, I, Jet goes first. No, no, Jet. Oh, I see. Hold on. Jet, Virginia, Gallows, Clive. Okay. Alright, Jet. It's, it's, it's all you, buddy. It's all you. Y you're You're gonna have to help. I hope this is one shot. We're good. We're good. We're in. We're in it. We did it. Okay, we could do this. All right, I I, I feel not as afraid anymore. Um. Yeah. Actually, that helps. I think. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, it's just you. Okay. Um... I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to make... I'm, I'm gonna have to change the turn order accordingly. Um, Clive, I'm gonna make sure Clive can uh, shoot this guy first.
Oh boy. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, that's so nerve-wracking. Please don't, please don't make me die and restart this whole thing. We were doing so well. I'm gonna take this box with me. <laughs> I'm taking this box with me. For safety, it's my safety box. I feel so safe with it. My emotional support box. Okay, um, I think the best way is to just jump down and move, yeah, move the boxes back. Ah, no. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, God, right, let's get out of here. Please let it be the, the dolls. Okay, good. Okay, good. I, I've i never felt so clenched like this before. No, that's not true. Uh, the the Thunder dodging minigame in, in FF10, that, that was clenching. But this is pretty damn close. Oh! Oh! Oh, why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> oh, okay, I just saw what you, what you said, Faze. Uh, end content will ruin my life. It's, it's, it, is it that much? Oh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk that. No way. Get out of here. I don't want that to blow up in my face and get killed. Okay. We should be almost out. Okay, yeah, this is the last one, I think. I think this is the last room before the entrance. <gasps> Why are you no summon? Oh, because you're out of MTC. Oh, jet. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got to do this the, the, the hard way. Actually, no, Clive, you shoot. Everyone else throws light gems. Oh, wow, that does a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, it depends on who's using it, though. Okay, cool, we got them back. Alright. Okay, now I know who to give them to. Oh, oh, we're almost out. Oh, we're almost out. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. No. Get out with that. I'm out of here. 
No. Ooh, 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 that was close. Yeah! And Virginia's like, I can't believe we did that. We are such idiots. The corpse ring is purified by the shimmering sunlight and evaporates into thin air. The corruption that was eating away at the ruins, uh, the corruption that was eating away at the ruins and the surrounding area is put to rest. Do we get our health back? Okay, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I got, I gotta save. I gotta save right now. <laughs> I'm still clenched. Yeah, screw it, I'll save here. Yeah, we did it. Whew. So what did we what did we get at the end? Nothing. Oh, because it evaporated. It Okay, so we got nothing out of it except the temple is now cleaner? Alright, so, um, that was the side quest for this girl. So, Jet, you can finally have a reason to talk to her now. Well, we cleansed the cursed ring we found in the ruins in the northwest. But we still don't know whether we stopped the corrupted soil. It was very unclear. Hmm. I think it's alright. I think it's alright. The flowers say they feel a lot better. Whoa, I'm shocked. Wow. She is such a hippie. Jet, you cool with that? You've got a stronger bond with your surroundings than even us Baskars. It's, it's like... We did our job. Now let's get out of here. We can find better work elsewhere. Damn. Way, way to pull the Sundere card on her, hey, Jet? <laughs> Actually, uh, if you don't mind, I have one more reward for you. The soil is corrupt no more. Now I can share with you the bounty of the harvest. Goods for your journey. Are you saying you'll cultivate the herbs and medicines for us? Mhm. Mm Many have tried, but no. Uh, but so far, nobody has been able to raise such plants. That's why you can't just buy them. And here you're offering to do just that for us. Oh, we really appreciate it. But you've given us a reward already, so you don't have to go out on a limb. Yeah, don't don't pay us. Nobody ever pays us, so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, okay. Then share some of your flowers with me. That's all I ask in return. After all, I love taking care of flowers. You heard her. Oh my god, look at that pose he's doing. He's just... He, he totally doesn't give a shit. But you know he does. He likes her. You heard her. Let's grab as much as we can. You know, because... Maybe, she, maybe she'll give us more stuff. Rewards. <laughs> it's not because I like her or anything. I'm sorry he's so rude. He's had it rough, so you'll never hear anything nice out of him. But he's not really he's not really a bad guy, okay? We know he's into you. It's it's fine. Uh, of course. You help Is she blushing? You help the flowers. You have to be nice to people who want to help mother nature. You have to be nice people to help Mother Nature. What, what is that? Did he just do the, the, the Spongebob meme of, like, like, alternating the capital letters? You have to be nice people to help Mother Nature, right? Your point is... When gardening... I can cultivate special berries, carrots, and even various flowers, too. Hello, intelligent. 
cheap viewers wear. I'm sorry, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Also, how dare you call viewers cheap? That's that's rude. I'm sorry. All my viewers are are to be respected. Now, now everyone watch me loot this girl's house. <laughs> Lots of pots. Smell of vinegar. Hmm, smells nice. I wonder if she's making pickles. No, but she's making duplicators. Um, so how do I... How do I give you stuff? How do I garden? Sowed... Breed? I can't harvest anything. Okay, so sow is... I can cultivate. Breeding is items that can improve. And harvest is anything I could pull out. You need a seedling before we can cultivate. I can create a seedling by sacrificing one of your items. Will that be alright? Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. And then I can... And I can assign... Oh, okay. I see, I see. So I want to give you a potion berry... And I want you to cultivate as many of those as you possibly can. I have revived fruits, so I also want- I, I really need to uh, uh, sow those. I need more of those so badly. Okay, cool. I don't know how this works. I'm gonna assume I just need to let time pass. Just, just, just stand here and let time pass. Um. So yeah, I'll come back to those later. I'm gonna have to do a lot of gardening off camera then. Oh wait, I gotta get the horse. Oh wait, I completely forgot. I, I was like, alright, let's go to the next place, but then I realized, oh wait, we need we still need the dragon fossils. <laughs> we we still need to do that. Um So we have to go to ancient ruins. There is there's one dungeon in particular that I want to go back to. Um, there was a dungeon that we went to where, um, there was a door that was locked and we didn't, ha and, and we needed the, we needed Clive's gloves to pick up a large boulder and put it on a button. Uh, so I'm going to go back to that dungeon, do that puzzle. And hopefully I can pick up some dragon fossils along the way. Oops. Also, I should I should probably rest up. I should probably rest up and, and save properly. Um Clive, Cl uh, was it Clivesdale? Clivesborn? Clyborn, that's it. It's here. Clivesdale, the horse. The horse should be here. Oh man. Oh man, this this Gelo inflation's killing me. It's like twice as expensive as I started. The 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 hope the ends. Uh, so the cult may have to wait, depending on, um, if if I can get all these dragon fossils.
Wait, did I save? I don't, I don't think I saved. <laughs> Hello, sir. Alright, um, so let's call my horse. And I th think this the dungeon's over Oh, I have to I have to jump the the chasm. Oh, hold. Hold on. There we go. It must have been really hard to pro to program that horse. I bet that was like one person's job is like, you better make sure that horse works. <laughs> so I think this was the dungeon. Oh, I should probably uh, do encounters um, instead of skipping. And because we're all super strong, uh, I was going to say we could probably one shot them. Almost. Yeah. I wonder if I have to do the... the I wonder if the dragon fossils only appear in very certain dungeons or only certain enemies drop them. Ah, oh, here's the puzzle. Alright, yeah, so... I couldn't do this one before. So now that Clive has... Gloves. Aha! Do-do-do-do-do-do! Alright, what do we got? Name tag. Duplicator. Alright. Oh, hell yeah, grab bag. And an elder record. What is that? Reduces the FP cost of Arcana. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm actually super glad I came back here. Um... Who had FP save? Someone had FP save already. Gallows. Gall Gallows has it. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna I'll probably give it to Virginia. Cause she does. Cause she does. She does more magic than Jed or Clive. So. For lucky hand, I'll equip her Elder Record. And then for personal skill... There we go. I don't think we have gotten a single Dragon Fossil all stream. No, we did not! I, I actually don't know where to find them. They say to look inside uh, dungeons or ancient temples. Which we're kind of in. Uh, I'll I'll find out where to get them. Maybe we'll ask these lovely gentlemen. And 
And you know what? I will search that right now. Wild Arms 3D Dragon Fossils. Yep. How do I hunt dragon fossils? Oh wow, this guy in the post says, Hey, I'm at, at this point I'm to get I need to get 15 dragon fossils for this girl. I only have eight. I also have eight. After a week of not making it further and only running around fighting monsters and going to dungeons, he's been doing this for a week. Um, it's in the area where the Luck Medium Temple is. There's an enemy that you will only fight on a horseback. Well, there we go. We have to go back to Dune Canyon and do uh, the random encounters on horseback in that area. That's very specific. Let's see what else they say. No, that's the only answer. Oh, that's backtrack. Oh, damn it. All right, well, now, now we know where to go, what to do. Um, I might just end up having to do this for the rest of this rest of the stream. But that's fine. We now know where to go. We have we have some guidance. I, I, I try to keep um, keep the walkthroughs to a minimum. Um, but there are times when, you know, one must absolutely do so when the game, you know, has a hard time of telling you. Like, yeah, you could explore, but you don't want to be this guy who, who fought monsters everywhere through Afagaya for a week with nothing. Got nothing in return. Uh, was it this way? You know what they should, you know what they should give me in, is uh, an escape rope. On horseback, then. Back to the Lucky Hand Temple place. To the Dune Canyons, please. All right, ride on horseback near the Lucky Hand Temple. Let's see if the the guy from GameFAX is right. Whoa. You guys definitely look like the guy the kind of guys that would carry a dragon fossil. Look at you guys, you're all scaly.
And weak to lightning. But I like guns better, so. Good job, guys. No, no dragon fossil. Oh. Guys, come on. Wait, are you the lucky hit temple? Yep, that's it. It's the fortune gear. Hmm. I think this is the only uh, area in this section. So, yeah, it should be over here. Let's give it another try. Maybe, maybe the crap people. Oh, oh, boss music. A serpentine form moves to intercept the party and their mounts. It is none, it is none other than Diobarg. The beast that seeks to devour all that treads noisily. Why, why is this dude a random encounter? I'm sorry. Now, now, for reals, you look like you would have someone. You look like you would have 10 dragon scales. Alright, let's do it. Uh. Beef up Clive, Clive Fragilim, Jet, Shoot, Gallows, Protect the Party. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go all out. Actually, uh, yeah. Go all out. Nice, nice. I like how every time he gets shy, it's like, oh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me catch up. Oh. Wait, wait, wait hold on, hold on. I got this, I got it this time. Wait, let me catch up. It's fine. Like, like the, the battle is taking much longer because we have to wait for it to, to come back to us. Oh, I thought we got it. At least everyone's critting. Like everyone's doing good amounts of damage now, uh, which I'm, which I really appreciate. Do it, Clive. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. 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 Why? Why? Wait! Why did it blow up? Oh. Well, there we go. Phase. Phase. I think we got a dragon fossil. I think we did it. The menacing gargantuan was vanquished. And for some reason, it just blew up. 
thanks to the bravery of Virginia and her comrades. The dragon fossils that slept in the belly of the beast had broken into glimmering shards and now rest at their feet. But that was easy. I thought I actually had to grind for random encounters. I, I didn't realize it was uh, that easy. Or, or, or that that was I that is what I was supposed to do. I I honestly would have been game facts guy. I, I would have been running around for a week just doing random encounters. All right. We're making really good progress tonight. Uh, technically, we didn't make much progress because that that first temple was a, a side quest, but still, we're we're, we're doing good. to respect the dunes and you'd be swallowed up in them. You must be very, very careful out there. Use autopilot and save frequently. Know your limits. Sounds boring, but it's really important. Yeah, I, 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 I got you, girl. Um, I would like to stay with you. Wait, you raised another 10 gilla. like robbery. I'm being robbed right now. You're robbing me of the money I don't have. This is rude. It's rude as shit. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got, got, the, we got the, the, the fossils. So we're gonna walk in. We're gonna haul in this huge ass bag. Just, just shove it on top of her desk. Uh, here. Ah. Oh. We, we already heard you. We already heard- yeah, we'll complete it. That's what I wanted to hear. Actually, I, I had taken out a loan on dragon fossils to make the part I needed. Now I can pay the loan sharks back and sleep soundly for once. So the sandcraft is yours. Wait, you didn't need it to build the thing? You just need it to pay off some goons? I respect the hustle, but still. Let me move the sandcraft to the beach outside. Remember, you have to get on and off the sandcraft at a beach. And one more thing, you'll have a tough time fighting doom monsters with your current armaments. So make sure you save the game before you head out into Uncharted Sands. You'll get the hang of it soon enough. I'll go ahead and send her down to the landing beach on autopilot. And her autopilot supports teleportation through items. Ain't she something. Cool. Let's roll her out. Ba 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 da ba. Um, so wait, so where's my sandcraft? Do you have my sandcraft? No, I have to go outside. Wait, all right. I'm, I'm a doof. I forgot that vehicles only exist in the open world. So the sandcraft should be right next to me, right here. There she is. You need a sandcraft to traverse the desolate dunes. Press up on the button or left analog stick and hold or hold X to move the sandcraft. Left and right to rotate. Circle to disembark once you found a suitable beach for landing. Yeah, this music's all right.
You can return to Jolly Roger by activating the autopilot. No, I'm good. So, southwest of here. Oh, so I can get off here, too. Ah. Oh. Wait, I can't? Really? Oh, okay. I didn't park it right. Codingo. Oh, okay, yeah, so I'm... Okay, yeah, so I'm back over where, um, Clyborne is. Okay, cool. It's not here, though. But I'm glad I can move around much more quickly without, uh, without taking the train. Might likely be here. Hell yeah! We found the Colts! Yep. The Ark of Destiny. Alright, now it's cult time. I, th I think. Sorry, eating chips. I thought a central office of a religious order would be more... Culty? Yes. Yes, I had expected a more curtly and grand temple, but this is as if we're exploring a ruin. I guess nowadays you have to... You kind of have to take it to new heights to secure followers, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the juice and crackers don't really work anymore, you know what I'm saying? I can see why our faith is on the decline. <sighs> no wonder they were so generous. They're in the right business. Maybe I should change careers. Oh my god, Jet. Hell yeah. I'm I I I respect I respect that, actually. I I I would expect Jet of all people to sell out so quickly. I think I I think I even put it in my like previous um in the description for the previous session how I made Jet sell out pretty much. This is super true. I I, I like that this is like correct. Then, what do you say you team up with this future priest and we make a fortune together? Oh yeah, Gallows. I have some know-how and background about this kind of stuff. You know, I could like. I can, like, do Baskar tricks, right? I mean, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure Gran doesn't care what I do with my powers, you know what I'm saying? Stop it with your nonsense. Mama Virginia comes in and slaps both of them across the head. Stop it with your nonsense. Let's just hand over the Kism Fire and complete our mission. Oh, all right, all right. But, uh, hey... Hey, hey, Jet. Jet, let's, let's like, let, let's put this on hold for now, but let's come back to it later, you know what I'm saying? When, when Virginia's not here. What was that? N nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is huge. Okay, maybe I should, uh, try to my, try to work my way around here. Okay, uh, these go downstairs. We have been expecting you. Our founder awaits in the celestial chamber. Founder? Labiam is a great man. He has, a, he has opened our eyes to his dream. He is a leader we all look up to. Oh, wait, and what's this chamber? Just keep heading straight from the entrance. Don't worry, you won't get lost. I'm terribly sorry, but only members of the Order are allowed into the library. Important information regarding artifacts are stored here. By the way, do you think I have a funny voice? Everyone tells me I do. Okay, yeah, so it is the... the, the weird voice Spongebob meme. The, the chicken meme. Alright, got it. 
where you just repeat the stuff. All right, so the chamber isn't in, in near the front, so let's uh, look around. First thing we do in a in a cult, we sneak into their rooms and steal their good shits. Nice. I forgot what those do. Warps use it to previously visit. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're fast travels. But not, not while indoors. Damn. Clive, can you? Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, so these are where you guys were hiding them. Map scope? Projects the world map directly onto the retina. Uh, I'm gonna assume that it'll give me the world map on... It will give me a mini map. Is that what that is? Hell yeah, it does. Mini map. Oh, and it, and it gives me this too. A bigger map. Oh, I like. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that so much. All right, back to looting the place. Oh, whoops. Oh, oh, oh. Don't don't mind us. We're just, you know, observing. Hmm. Do we have anything for that? I mean, we could put some bombs on here. No, then those don't work. Oh, that's too far. Alright, I'll come back. I'm in, I'm in charge of organizing all the excavated artifacts. Everything you see here has been collected by the Order of Lamium. Good, so you don't mind if I, you know, part, part with uh, some of these? Right? What the hell? What's- wait, what's your deal? Uh, I'm just gonna hit you with everything I have. Until something happens. Oh. Okay, and then do I burn it? I'm supposed to do something with this. So if I freeze you... No. I'll I'll figure it out later. Oh, and that's the way back up. Let's let's just keep poking around. Let's just keep breaking stuff. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll definitely come back to this later. I'm pretty sure this will give... I need to get an ability that lets me levitate. 
That was an ability from the second game. To levitate over uh, a gap. And this... There's nothing here. Yeah, I can't reach that. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm done looting. I'm done looting the place. Let's uh let's go talk to the leader. Hey, cult man, what up, man? I got your fire thing. Job well done. Thanks to you, this arc has taken another step towards the future. A small step, but absolute nonetheless. Here's the reward we agreed upon. Please accept. Hell yeah. Oh, and Jet's like, oh my god, it's a lot of money. Oh, money. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. We're all glad to be of help. If I may, is this energy crystal really going to prove useful? Oh, of course. But before I explain, you must understand our dogma. Many doctrines of salvation speak of fulfilling one's spirit in order to attain the salvation after death. <laughs> you just came back? You're not going to even question what's going on right now? Um... We killed a dragon, we got 15 dragon fossils, gave it to the girl, we got the, the, the buggy, um, and now we're here. That's pretty much it. You didn't miss much. We just got here. Alright, so many doctrines of salvation speak of fulfilling one spirit in order to attain salvation after death. However... The doctrine of the Ark of Destiny views the pursuit of mundane benefits as supreme, and we work and devote ourselves to it every day. There are many who shy away from us, per interpreting our goal as merely money-making. To demystify our doctrine, only when peace of mind and tranquility are attained in our everyday lives can spiritual fulfillment be achieved. So, it is not about seeking spiritual shelter, but taking care of your everyday life first and foremost. Okay, yeah, that's... That's like straight up Taoism. Yeah. You just, you know, kind of go with the flow. You know, chill with your life. Yes, there are many factors that threaten our very life, everyday lives, but most of it can be blamed on our wasted environment. And we humans are not strong enough to accept and to face and accept this harsh environment. I do not possess a gracious disposition as to throw away my will to live. I have found the means from this planet for the peop for people to improve their future. That is why I have created a monument putting to use ancient artifacts for the good of today. What is that? Applying the technology of these artifacts to improve the lives of people. This is a grand dream that cannot be realized by my powers alone. Fortunately, I have colleagues here who sympathize with my ideology. Oh, yeah, um, one little, um, what, what, one little, like, detail you missed out phase is um, we thought we were going to some kind of cult temple. This is the cult. Um, for some reason, they're living inside of a spaceship in Star Trek. <laughs> That's it. Each one of us may only be a tiny drop, but as we gather together and are guided in the right direction, we can become a torrent. This is what I firmly believe and the reason I lead this movement. Interesting, interesting. So that's what the Ark of Destiny's doctrine is all about. 
It's completely different from ours. It's it's more practical, more more down to earth, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can I can sign up for this stuff. I, I, I wish you guys still did the juice and cookies thing, but I, I can let it slide. We share the same basic ideology as Baskar. One thing that sets us apart is that we are more like volunteers rather than a monask a monasco monastic order. So you could so could this building really be Yes. We are able to excavate the immigrant ship from folklore and are using it as a shrine. Just as our forefathers of mankind pioneered the way to this planet, we too are aiming for a new frontier we call the future. I just realized this is just Scientology. <laughs> it's, it's mankind came from aliens coming down from space, invaded us, and the rest is the creation of mankind. <laughs> This is just Scientology, holy shit. Um, we, we not only view the ship as our shrine, but as a symbolic representation of our materialized will. Frankly, I'm surprised. I, I thought your explanation would deal with some kind of dream world. Like some god-awful millennium puzzle world, but... Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, uh, oh, did I say something fun? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna be... Uh, I'm going to be, my, my head's going to be chopped off, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry, I, I have no dream. My duty is to fight to attain repose and not to look away from reality. Consequently, we have no dream, only harsh reality. Even the management of this order is not cheap. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean it like that. Or maybe I kind of did, but I didn't mean it to, you know, I didn't mean to say the loud pow the loud part out loud. No need to worry. Speaking of dreams, however, this will stray from reality, but would you be interested to hear? Sure. The lost technology from the ruins is essential in keeping this order active and operating. We outsource various drifters or conduct our own research to excavate these artifacts. Some of the more substantial discoveries stem from dreams I experience. A dream? That's, that sounds like my kid brother. This is some childish stuff. Sometimes in my dreams, a girl appears and blesses me with advice. What, girl? girl gives you advice? Yes, I, I do not know who this girl is, though. However, her words are always accurate and true. For example, this Ark of Destiny we use as our shrine was granted by her. I call this girl that guides me in, in, that guides me in my dreams the Saint. Do you want to hear? Do you want to hear something out of the ordinary, girl? Nothing you said was ordinary. Like, yeah. Like, like this. Everyone's like, this is not normal. It's like, what is normal anymore? The the planet's ocean is is literally sand. There's e there's 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 there, we have evil furries trying to do alien uh, evolution stuff. Like, what what is normal at this point? Is something the matter? I'm in the middle of speaking to my guests. How rude. I will... You are now excommunicated. Get out of here. Uh, well, uh... The unexpected situation has... It is alright. Please continue. I have just... I have just received a report from Survey Point 17. Currently being excavated. Uh, apparently someone has broken in, wreaking havoc. <laughs> I like I like her portrait. She's smiling. She's like really kind. Uh, excuse me, sir, but if I may, um, someone's someone's ripping us. Someone's killing us all. Okay, just letting you know. It, it's the 
Prophets. I forgot that's what they're called. The intruders are part of a three plus one pet. Oh, man. Damn, what, what a way to shit on Janice like that. I repeat, a group of three and a pet, so they are a party of four. Oh, wait, no, it's it, it's probably Maya. Well, we'll see. It's it's either or, really. It's it, it, it could be Janice, but it could also be Maya. Their descriptions, a vagarous young woman, a boy with explosives, a stuffed animal like a, a cat, and a vicious looking man with an afro. Oh, okay, it's Maya. Ah, uh, she's, oh my, oh my god, it's like, oh god, oh god, it's them. Oh, damn it, I really don't want to see Maya right now, I'd, I'd rather fight Janice. I'd rather get my ass kicked by Janice again, oh, I don't want to see that girl. Oh god. They are all armed and extremely dangerous. The search group and the excavation group are being ec evacuated. Security will retreat soon after. Hmm, this is a terrible situation. According to the saints, this is where the energy crystals, Agalite, and Germatron are located. If they fall into the wrong hands... Are you... <laughs> are you alright? Yeah, yeah, it, I'm fine. Just... I have to deal with some bullshit now. Excuse me. I think I know exactly who these intruders are. And I hate that I know. Huh? Are they drifter acquaintances of yours? But, but, but no, we're not associated with them in that way. We don't, we don't like them. They don't even like us, for some reason. If it is alright with you, I would like to ask you to stop them. Well... I do feel kind of obligated to... It... Wait, no, wait, why? why? Just because you know them? Well, she's got to do it for justice, right? However, we will only accept this as a formal assignment. And, and Jet's like, ask, ask for the money! We need more money from the them. They will pay us. They pay us for once. Rightly so. I will offer 10,000 Gela for this mission. And Jet, Jet's mind just blew out of his head. It's like... Gallows. Gallows. When we're done with this, we're coming back. <laughs> we're, joining, we're joining this place. I believe that is a fair price. Uh, um, I feel really terrible about all this. Virginia, we need this. B bo both Jet and Gallows. We need this. Don't, don't, don't. Just, just take, just say yes. <laughs> I too was a drifter before I opened my eyes to this dogma. I fully understand your pride and honor as drifters. That is why I think you deserve that amount. However, I do I do expect you to perform up to its full value. I look forward to seeing what kind of job 10,000 Gela will buy me. Oh, that's a lot of pressure, but we'll do our best. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of money to just drop into the hands of some mercenaries you just met. I'm also relieved to hear that you'll be taking on the Survey Point 17 mission. To get to the Survey Point, head south from the Ark and land on the first beach you see. Once you land, you will see a bridge, but do not cross it. Just search around that vicinity. And don't cross the bridge. If you cross the bridge, you're super fucked. You got to level 50 monsters across that bridge. Alright, let's see what else we can... You seem very confident. I feel very excited as well. Perhaps my heart still has the same wings you do. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's appropriate for Jet to take lead on this one. 
It's like, sir, I will do my very best to fulfill this mission and get that 10,000 gela and probably more. No nonsense keeping your head down. All you see is dry earth, which makes you feel desolate. Instead, look up at the sky. The sky is great. It's nice and blue. It's not yet, you know, deprecated. Oof. All right. Um. So that way is still locked. This way. Oh, it's a, it's an inn. Um. Oh, this is just for me to sell. We would like to ask a donation of five five hundred ton gela. You're wait. That's not a donation. You're just charging me to stay. Get, get out of here. You don't, you don't need the money. Your leader was able to drop 10,000 like nothing. Oh my god, these are, th those are the worst looking beds. How are these beds? <laughs> but yeah, I, I need to rest. Fine. We deserve like some kind of employee discount or something. All right. So that is it for tonight. That we, um, wow, we only went for an hour and a half. Um, but in that time, that was, yeah, that's just an operation table. Like that's like what the hell. <laughs> um, wow, we only went for an hour and a half, and I feel like we made a a, a good chunk of progress. In including the the side quest um all right so tomorrow we're going to fight maya again yeah, so that'll be fun um so that's next time i'm gonna jump over back to the big camera hey so um the so we're we're pretty much halfway done uh, I think getting to the Ark of Destiny, that's like the halfway point. Uh, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to, to um, get some more sessions in this week. Um, so I will I will do more FF7 tomorrow, and then on Friday I'll do a longer session of, uh, of Wild Arms. And I'll probably do one more on the weekends, just to speed things up. Um... I'll continue with more Hi-Fi Rush as well. Uh, that game's not too long. So I can like bang it out in like a day or two. And after that, I will start I want to hug that gator. So so we're we're moving things along. I'm 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 feeling pretty good about that. All right. So that's about it. I'll see you guys more for next time. Y'all take care. Y'all have a great rest of your night. I'll see you later next time.